Wow, that's bougie. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. As the title tells, and as you can see with the situation over here, it's a four VIP sale haul time. I'm gonna share with you my recommendations as well as the goodies that I got. Of course, since I'm legally blind, I'm gonna share why some of these beauty products are blind chick friendly. I'm super excited to get into this. There are a lot of things in this box and a few that I got from the store that I've had my eye on for a minute. I've got it down to a little routine. When the fall sale comes around, I re-up on the things that I need. Get me through the winter, you know? When the spring sale rolls around though, that's when I get into my new bag. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got and I can't wait to hear what you get too, so leave that down for me below. Let me just put the box over here. If you guys have seen any of my past VIB videos, you know that I used to do the most. I was really excessive with it. So this time around, I feel like I did a good job. I got things that are actually useful, not just trendy. I used to be heavy into the palettes. Now that I can't really see to do my eye makeup, I'm glad that I've moved away from obsessing over that stuff. The first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is a skincare product. I've heard so much about Skin FX. I figured since I'm in the market for a new body butter, and this one is an AHA and BHA resurfacing one, why not? Everyone online is obsessing about the smell, which they say when you lose one sense, the other ones heighten. I won't go and say that much, but I don't really smell much and my sense of smell is really good. It's supposed to smell like lime, it doesn't really, but that's okay. I figure I love layering fragrances anyway, so if my base doesn't have a strong smell, that's okay. This is so luxurious. When I tested in the store, I said, oh, what's that? Truth be told, I'm an ashy Larry over here, so I need intense moisture. What really caught my eye about this is that it's supposed to help resurface, and to admit to you guys that I've always had some insecurity about whatever's on my thigh. I can't even, it's not ingrowns. They, I don't know what it is, and I had posted a picture earlier today if you check Instagram, but I've been dealing with that for years, so if this can help, Blend it out a little bit, I'm not mad at it. Like I said before, the sale is the perfect time to re-up on those things you know you're gonna need. I always need to have one of these in my backup bag. This is the benefit precisely my brows. I was heavy for the Anastasia brow was for years. This takes the cake. Anastasia ain't got nothing on this. And that's still a really good product. But if you're losing vision like me and you still wanna do your brows precisely, this is where it's at. It's so thin that you will get hair like strokes even though you can't see what you're doing. Speaking of not seeing what you're doing, eyeliner has recently, as in the last two years, been quite problematic for me. I used to love a good liquid liner, but that's just, no, it's just a no. So the closest thing I've come to is this makeup by Mario. I straight away from what I usually get, which is the Urban Decay 24 seven pencils. I've been buying them for more than 10 years. I think that was one of the first things I bought when Sephora first came to Canada. But I said, let me just try this. It's very interesting and Mario never disappoints. So on one side, you have this really creamy gel-like pencil. It's got enough stiffness that you can apply it without feeling like it's crushing on your eyes, but it's blendable enough that when you switch to the other side, you got a little brush like this, it's a flat tip, and you can just use that to give yourself a little wing. Of course, it's not gonna be as crisp as if you were to do a liquid liner, but if you're running out of options like me, this is a good way to keep getting your little cat eye going on. Anywho, next up, what other new new do we got in here? This is the part of the video where we all admit the part we played in killing Rihanna's music career. Because if we didn't buy products like this, she would have to go back on stage, okay? Now she got a baby bump, so we're never gonna get that album. But I really wanted to try for this upcoming spring and summer season, her body sauce. So when Body Lava dropped, what, two years ago? I said I'm not paying $75 for that, for one. For two, too many people were saying you need to use a kabuki and blend it in. And I'm thinking this is a last step before you go out and glisten and look like a sun god. I'm not doing all of that. But when she dropped body sauce, everyone was saying that it's like the baby cyst that's a lot less problematic. What I love about this, cause I already did a little dab. I'm gonna do one on this hand, cause last time I did it was a whole mess is first of all, it smells divine. It reminds me of when you go to the ice cream truck and you get one of those chocolate dip cones and the middle part smells like this really subtle vanilla. 
why was that example so specific? But as you can clearly see, this ain't my color. I think I dream to be darker because anytime I buy anything, foundation, contour, anything that has to do with my complexion, even the foundation I'm wearing today is wrong, it's darker. I just wanna be darker, but until I catch a tan, this ain't my color. The only thing is, I don't see much of a shimmer shimmer. I mean, I don't see much in general, and shimmer is small, but I expected more bam for the buck, so. First of all, I think I'm gonna have to switch it to a lighter color, which is funny because I was gonna get a darker color, but I said, no sis, you always do this. And I got this color and it's still too dark. So either I need to catch a tan, which is not happening in the six because winter is prolonged here, or I need to go switch it for a lighter color and maybe I'll see more shimmer, but we'll see. The consistency though, this is giving the Necessary Body Serum, which if you guys watched the last fall VIB video, Nothing compares. I almost repurchased that for this haul and I said no, because it's so expensive and I wanted to try something else this time. Please tell me I'm not alone. Whenever I venture into a new world of skincare, beauty, something, I never just try one of something. I like to get two of a different brand. So this is another body oil, similar to Fenty's body sauce. This is supposed to give you intense shimmer, that ethereal glow, so when you're wearing that silk dress, that shift dress, that summer dress, you just look like a goddess. I'm really here for this. When I saw the packaging online, I said, wow, that's bougie. I got the small bottle because I wasn't sure how much I would like it. And a lot of people were complaining about the pump. And I said, for that price, I am not fighting no spray bottle pump. So you just spray, come on. Yeah, it is kind of weak. She don't really deliver like she should, but once you blend it in, I don't know if you can see from this far, this is definitely my true color. <laughs> this right here is where it's at. It's a very subtle shimmer, I'm not mad at that. Buying something like this to finish off your skincare routine, you kinda wanna be like a disco ball. Okay, maybe not a disco ball, cause that's a little bit too much, but you want that, you know that glow that some of them Instagram baddies have? Or like the sheen that this dress has? I want that on my skin. I was really hoping that one of these two would have me looking like liquid gold. Next up is a Summer Friday product. I love Summer Fridays. The reviews on this were ruthless though. I had initially put it in my cart and then I took it out and then I picked it up in store. I was so unsure. The way people were ripping this one, Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. They were complaining about the consistency, which I tried, it wasn't that bad. It smells fresh, not too fragrant. You know, Summer Friday is very low key. And I can't wait to see if it actually helps with the, she's never slept in her life under eye circles I have going on. Sticking with skincare for a bit, I got this Tatcha Renewing Clay Mask. I have not bought a mask in over a year, which is crazy. I have a playlist on here called Mask Maniac. I think there's over 20 videos of different mask reviews. That lets you know how deep the obsession was at one time. But it's been a minute and I figured this is the best time, if ever there is a time, to try out the newest Tatcha mask. I tried out their OG one, which I love that packaging. Purple's my favorite color. But the clay mask wasn't worth that, if I'm honest with you guys. So I'm curious to see, you know I'm gonna try this tonight, how luxurious it's gonna feel and how nice my skin will feel after. I love their packaging as per usual, they never disappoint. It's very substantial. So you feel like you're buying what you bought, you know? If I recommend one thing in this video, it would be this. Every person on the planet can benefit from this. This is a Dr. Dennis Growth kit, including their ever so popular Alpha Beta wipes, but my personal favorite, their Ferulic and Retinol Serum. I first got the jumbo size. I don't even know if it was more than five, six years ago. It was a long, long time ago. And ever since then, I've been obsessed and been trying to buy a similar set. They haven't released them together since. That's how long your girl's been looking. I bought the pads by itself. I bought at least three or four of these bottles by themselves and it is expensive. So to get this together as a value pack, I was so happy I snatched it up so quick. Highly, highly recommended. My skin is finally, finally getting better. If you guys know, it's been a two year fiasco and I hope that this just buffs off the last bit of badness going on. I'm a little bit of a fragrance fiend. I had to make a little rule for myself, which was if I'm gonna do multiple fragrances, they have to be the smallest size available or I can pick one perfume that I've had my eye on from Time G. 
<laughs> so I decided to get a few small sizes and I'm gonna break down why I got each one, why I love them. They say when you lose one sense, your other ones heighten. I won't say that, but I am definitely fragrance, aroma, just, it sets a vibe. I feel like the right perfume for the right season can really put together your outfit and have you smelling like you looking. You know your girl is obsessed with aromas when she has the diffuser and the scented candle going on in the back. This one right here, I've had my eye on for two years. I got a sample, I don't even know if it was like a tiny one or a mega sample, whatever it was. I held on to every last drop. And then when I saw the price, I said, I ain't the one. Don't know why I decided to cave in yesterday because this shipped overnight, but I'm happy that I did because Mediterranean Honeysuckle is one of my favorite spring fragrances. It's just sweet without being sickly. It's fresh without being too like clean laundry. You know what I'm saying? Like. You just have to smell it to know. It is just out of this world. Whenever I would wear this sample, people were like, oh my God, what's that? And I'm like, something I can't afford. But now I can. <laughs> Another fresh scent. I had no intention of getting this. I went to the store to pick up one thing for a friend because they don't get 20% off. And then why did I find myself in the Jo Malone section? I, I should have known. There was an associate there. She was so sweet, so helpful. We spent half an hour talking and then I ended up getting a mini of this. This is the wood sage and sea salt. I've smelled a lot of Jo Malone scents and honestly, if it wasn't for her, I would have overlooked this. It's giving very fresh, almost like laundry fresh, which personally don't come for me. I am paying for that. I love my sheets and my towels to smell fresh, but I don't just spritz freshness on me if you know what I'm saying. But something about this, I mean, it's Miss Malone, has a little bit of complexity to it. And I got this to pair with Mira and Tonka by her that I got during the fall sale. So I'm so excited and hyped to use this. When she layered it for me in the store, I said, how did you do that? That is some kind of sorcery. She made what is a fall winter scent be pulled right through the seasons into the spring and summer. When you layer it with this, it's, it's an obsession. Mira and Tonka is actually a year round fragrance with this. I was like, it's a little bit too dark, too warm, a little bit too, you know, some, some heavier scents are better when the weather's cold because it just gives you warmth, especially when you hug someone. But this brightens it up and gives it a little more playfulness. Last and certainly not least, this was another scent that I had my eye on. I wanted to get Angel Share this time last year. And then I promised myself I was gonna get it during the VIP sale that just passed in the fall. I talked myself out of it because $300 plus Canadian tax no thank you. So when I saw that they dropped the mini size, I said, this is perfection. Killian is potent, except Princess. I don't know, they missed the mark. It smells amazing, but it does not last. But the other Killian fragrances I smelled, I barely use them because they are so strong. So I figured just like why I sell black opium, a little bit goes a long way. So I have a feeling this is gonna last me at least a year, if not longer. And if I decide by the time I finish this that I still love it, I will get the full size. I will cave in. But I'm really happy that I got a small size. This tube is more expensive than any other travel size though. So I see you killing you you out in these streets during a pandemic charging extra, okay. So that's it for this haul and recommendations video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment below what you're gonna get if there's anything that you saw in this video or maybe something on your wish list that I need to know about. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. It's like Christmas and spring.